What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Rashawn Bowen White. RB Dells back at it again with another video. In this video today, we will be talking about the Black Panther film. Specifically, we will be talking about the significance of the film as a whole and why is it so important. That today is Sunday and I usually release my videos on Tuesday, but I just really couldn't wait to get this video out to you guys. I saw the movie earlier today and I really just couldn't wait two days to, to talk about it. I just wanted to you know talk about it now to get my feelings and my thoughts about it out now instead of waiting two days and then my thoughts die out. So. That's why I wanted to get this video out to you guys today. Black Panther came out this past Friday on February 16th. And in this video, I will not specifically be talking about the plot of the film, so there are no spoilers or anything about like that. But specifically, I'll be talking about the film as a whole and why is it important for us? Why is everyone making such a big deal about it? And why is it, you know, selling out and, you know, having the most box office sales, most ticket sales than any other movie in Marvel Cinematic Universe history. So that's what I wanted to talk about in this video today. I wanna to talk about why this, video, this film is important. We wanna talk about why, why is it different from any other film or why is it, what separates it from other past films that has since been successful. Well, first we can talk about its casting. I mean, in my experience, speaking for, my, for myself and the movies that I've seen, um, you know, you've seen movies that have, you know, a majority of a black or African-American cast, but it's rare that you've seen, uh, in my experience, it's rare that I've seen a movie in which you have a movie with and all black or the majority of the cast is black but the film itself isn't talking about you know black struggle or black poverty or basically the negative aspects or centers around the negative aspects aspects of the black community and that's just from my experience from my experience i haven't seen a film that's uh has a majority of the cast that is black and that isn't centered around, you know, black poverty or black struggle or et cetera, any of those negative connotations of black people. So that, that's definitely one thing that separates this film from all the rest. And from all, when I say all the rest, specifically meaning all the rest of films that might have or that does have a majority of the cast being black. Another thing that centers or centers this film and separates it from other films is that in this film we're getting, you know, black people being scientists and inventors and basically the whole film is centered around the success of black people and of black minds rather than the negativity and of you know, the black community. And um, that's something that's definitely, you know, significant and something that separates this film from the rest. And definitely something that, you know, people really like about this film and that people really connect with about this film, especially the black community. And that's definitely another reason why this film is so important. Like I was saying earlier, you know, this film, you know, other films that have a majority of black casts you know, they do not show them in this kind of way. They don't show them being, you know, inventors, scientists, you know, um, things like that, and having their hands on very advanced technology, you know, having advanced technology and having them be the ones who not only have this advanced technology, but them being the ones who made this technology, who invented this technology. So that's definitely something that's definitely important about this film as well. Even if we want to move aside from the cast room, and let's say, you know, let's not even talk about the cast. We can even move on to the landscape and the setting of the film. The film is set in a fictional, a fictional land, a fictional, a fictional landscape known as Wakanda. 
And, you know, having this, even though this landscape and even though this place is a fictional place, it's definitely a place that, you know, a lot of people, especially a lot of people who have, you know, you know, have that connection with Africa and basically have, you know, know that place that they're from in Africa and definitely connect with the country in a whole lot of ways. They definitely connect and attach themselves to this place even though it is fictional. And this is why this film is such a big hit, you know, amongst the black community is because the black community finds themselves being very connected to this film, whether it's through the characters that are portrayed in this film and whether it's through, you know, the setting of the film as well. The setting of the film definitely is something that is very important, very significant, and definitely separates it from other films. You know, having the film being set and being placed in a land that is, yes, it is fictional, but is a land that is portraying, you know, Africa as this advanced place, this technologically advanced land. And not a lot of people see Africa in that way. And a lot of, a lot of people don't know that there are places in Africa that are technologically advanced and that, you know, it's not, it doesn't look like, you know, your typical mindset or your typical thinking of what Africa looks like. A lot of people, you know, have that stereotypical thought of what they think Africa looks like. You know, they think it's just, you know, they think animals, they think, they probably think huts and people who are, you know, not technologically advanced. They think of people who are, and keep in mind, this isn't all people, but there are a lot of people who think of Africa in this way. So, having them see a film in which it portrays Africa as a technologically advanced land and it presents the people as technologically advanced as well and smart and uh, inventors and scientists as well it's definitely something that's an eye-opener for a lot of people and that's definitely another thing that makes this film very important and it's definitely something that makes this film very significant it's definitely another reason why a lot of people are connected to this film and a lot of people want to see this film you know they want to see for themselves how this land is portrayed in the film and that's definitely my favorite part about the film after seeing the film my biggest takeaway from it and my biggest the thing I liked the most about it was how they portrayed the setting how they portrayed Wakanda those were even my favorite shots in the film them showing Wakanda as a whole you know person not knowing like the history of this film or the history of the Black Panther as a whole, you know, hearing about that aside in Africa and then going to the film and then seeing this land, you know, that, you know, this is like, is this really in Africa? You know, you might get that, you might have that thought after you see, you know, the setting and after you see what Wakanda is in the film, you know, through the shots that they had in the film, the camera angles and all that, even the above shots where they show the city as a whole, you definitely get that good look and you might develop that mindset from that good look and from those camera angles. And it was definitely something that, you know, that really connected me to the film is how the land looked and how they portrayed it. You know, it's definitely going to be having people second guessing what Africa definitely looks like. And they definitely portray that in the film as well you know they have it where you know Wakanda is secluded from the rest of the world they choose to hide themselves from the rest of the world hide their technological advantages from the rest of the world and that kind of symbolizes how people's minds are disconnected from the way Africa actually is you know they have their stereotypical thoughts about where Africa is and they don't know that Africa is actually or there are parts of Africa that are actually technologically advanced and that seclusion in the film symbolizes that mindset people's minds are secluded from those technologically advanced parts of Africa and they're only focused on the parts of Africa that you see in you know on TV or the parts of Africa that people show in films, which is a majority of those showings are Africa being, you know, the people living in huts and the people, you know, living poorly and not having a lot. And, you know, that's 
kind of the majority of Africa that you see in film and television shows. So to have a film like Black Panther come around and completely flip that connotation on, you know, just flip that around, just bring it around 360, and to show that, you know, this is Africa. This is what Africa is, a technologically sound, a technologically advanced area that is filled with very smart inventor scientists who are not only smart, but are smart black individuals. So that's definitely something that is significant and important about the film as well. And it's definitely something that I enjoyed how the film portrayed that and how the film was able to show that to people, whether the people, whether the audience was black, white, Hispanic, Asian, whatever. You know, I feel like all of them will be able to, you know, kind of take in the film in their own way. But I feel like a lot of them should be able to understand the significance of this film for the black community and for Black America. It's basically, you know, the Black Panther, the superhero, and the film as a whole is something that we can look up to, it's something that we can say that, you know, the black community can say that they're proud of and is something that, you know, they, they can connect with in a positive way. It's definitely something I connect with in a positive way. It was definitely, you know, great to see a cast that the majority of the cast is black. You saw, you know, three white people at the most in the film. And not to say that, you know, films where white people aren't good or anything like that. It's just to say that it's different from the typical films that we are used to seeing. It's different from, you know, what we're used to seeing in Hollywood. It basically takes that typical showing of Hollywood and completely flips it. And, you know, definitely gives a different perspective. And it's definitely showing people like, hey, we can have this film where the majority of the cast is black and it's set in a in Africa in and it could still be just as successful and not it's not even just as successful it's even more successful than all the other films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the and in all those other films the majority of the cast is white so that basically is something else that's very important about this film you have this film competing it is part of this Marvel Cinematic Universe as well and you have this film competing with all these other cinematic cinematic films that are part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the majority of the cast in those films is white so the fact that it was able to top all those movies and box office sales and pre-sale tickets and all that is definitely something that's very important it is definitely something that is very significant and it's definitely something to look at in terms of thinking about why this film is so important to not only the black community but very important to the world of movies as a whole i definitely want to take you thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video um if you haven't seen Black Panther, definitely go out and definitely see it. Um, if you go out and see it now, most likely the movie theater will definitely be crowded. It was def it was crowded when I went there. The line was long. I had to sit in the, the second row. But if I had to sit in the first row, that would have been fine because I definitely need to see this movie. And it's definitely something that, you know, I wanted to be a part of. So, and then I had to, you know, to get this video out to you guys, I definitely had to see the movie first to develop my own opinion about it. So... Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Um, if you have anything to say about Black Panther, if you want to share how, you know, what you thought about the film, if you've seen it already, what were your thoughts, what were your opinions, what were your feelings on the film, definitely leave a comment down below. Um, you know, let's, I want to get this video to at least 20 likes, so definitely drop a like on the video, definitely comment, definitely subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy the content. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out of here.